Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Shivlila from Apabha Books. So in the last video, we have solved a few word problems. Right? After uploading those word problems, I have got few doubts from the students that how will we get to know? We have to find HCF or LCM. Should we stress the word minimum and maximum? Or how will we get to know that? This was the doubt from the students. They have asked how will we get to know. And they even asked if minimum comes, minimum word comes in the problem, that means uh, that will be the minimum, smallest, least, something comes uh, in the problem means that is the, that is regarding LCM. Or uh, maximum, highest to greatest comes means that is regarding the LCM. They have asked these doubts. So let me clarify these doubts first. See, you can stress those words minimum or maximum. That is not at all a problem. But along with that, they will give some other clues also. What are those? They'll say, the, say the first problem they have given maximum value of weight. So maximum may say highest. Maximum says highest. Then later what they ask, value of weight, which measures the fertilizers exactly. That means you have to find the highest number which divides the given numbers equally, exactly. Okay, then later. For the second problem, they asked minimum distance. Yes, obviously, minimum means the least number you have to find. What? The least number of what? Least number which divides the given number or which least number which is divisible by the given number. That too we have to see, right? So, the least number, they asked the minimum distance so that all three can cover that distance completely. That means you have to find the least number which will be divisible by the given number. See that you have to see this. Divides the given number. If the sentence says divides the given number, that is factor or divisor. Okay. If the problem says directly or indirectly, divisible by the given number. See, sometimes they say this directly. Divisible by given 6, 8, 10, 18, 12, 9. Whatever the numbers given, they, they, they give it directly. Sometimes they won't give it directly. They will give it in, indirectly that. See, for example, here itself we can see the common timing. At that time, all three signals will change their timing simultaneously. I'll explain this once again. For example, minimum distance so that all three can cover in the complete steps. That means you have to find the smallest number. That is divisible by the given numbers. Numbers will be given either in any standard forms or directly only numbers. Okay. So divisible by means you have to find the multiple. Okay. Multiple. These factors must be common for the given numbers. Multiple also should be common for the given numbers. That means common factor and common multiple for the given numbers you have to find. Okay. For particular, for particular one problem, it, you may ask it to find the common factor. Or you may ask you to find common multiple. But they won't ask you what is the least common factor. Why? Why they won't ask you least common factor? Why they don't ask you highest common multiple? See, you have studied about LCF and LCM. Highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Why not the lowest common factor and highest common multiple? Because lowest common factor of every number is 1. Because 1 is a factor of every number. Even though no, without factorization also, you can say what is the LCF of given number, that is 1. Okay. So even, even though without factorization, you can see. Because 1 is a factor of every number. So they won't ask you least common factor because it is a known factor. Right. And they don't even ask you highest common factor because, I mean, highest common multiple because there is no end for a multiple. So if there is no end, how can you say the highest one? Highest is a superlative degree, isn't it? Superlative, that is the last one. There will be no higher than that. So there, for multiples, there is no end. If there is no end for multiple, you can't say that is only the highest. But starting will be there, no? So you can see the, this is only the smallest one. This is only the least one. 
there will be no other number which is lesser than this so that's why lcm will be asked and not hcm okay so uh, i don't know how many of you got this uh, doubt uh, why it is only hcf why not lcf why it is only lcm why not hcm okay so you should have these doubts then only you will be very cleared in this topic okay fine that is okay now so most of the students uh, ask this doubt as how will we get to know they have asked hcf or lcm see directly or indirectly they will ask the number which divides the given number or divisible by the given number that we have to get to know from the given problems okay see for example if we stress the words minimum and maximum only then in fourth and fifth problem they are asked in fourth problem they ask for smallest three digit number then in fifth problem they ask for greatest three digit number so if so greatest means again we have to go through hcf no it is not like that greatest three digit number they have given later they ask which is divisible by the given number so only multiples will be divisible by the given numbers and factors will divide the given number did you get it so read the problem completely try to understand what they have asked did they ask the number which divides the given number exactly or did they ask the number which is divisible by the given number exactly okay you have to understand that and you have to try to convert the local i mean uh, common statement into a mathematical statement if you convert that you will get to know very easily did you get it shall we go to the problem today i have written and kept two problems on the board 6th and 7th okay so let us go to the solution of this problems first before going to the solution we should read the problem properly okay we should read the problem properly then only we will get to know what they have asked okay first see here. they have given the traffic lights at three different uh, road crossing so they have given three different road crossing signals okay they will change their the timing to change the traffic lights are different they have given the timing also one traffic light will change after every 48 seconds another traffic light will change after every 72 seconds and another traffic light will change after every 108 seconds and don't get confused they said the they change simultaneously simultaneously means at a time at 7 am they have given this timing even they did not give the, this timing also you would have solved this don't get confused by this timing see whatever these timings after every 48 seconds it will go on changing the lights after every 72 seconds it will go on changing its lights after every 108 seconds it will go on changing its lights at one particular light i mean timing at one particular timing all three signals will change their lights together at that time this may change more number of times and this may change a little less and this may change less number of times because the duration is very long right so at one particular time all three signals will change their lights together which light don't ask me okay which light red green or yellow don't ask okay whatever the light they'll change together at a time simultaneously means at a time okay together so you have to find out that timing they have given one particular time by morning 7 am all three signals have changed their time i mean lights together okay after 7 after 7 am after 748 seconds this signal changed but still not at this one after 72 seconds this two changed but not this one after 108 seconds this two changed but not these and then the afterwards after few seconds again this changed so timing are different but at one particular timing all three signals will change their lights together means at that time they just flash their lights together that timing you have to ask they have given one timing okay you have to ask 
say another time. So say that you have to find the number means common timing. You have to find the common timing after every that many seconds. All three signals will change their lights together. Okay, so that common timing you have to find out. So this is common timing simultaneously everything are common languages what we say. But if we have to say mathematically, then that mathematical language is nothing but so mathematical language is nothing but we have to find the number which is divisible by all three numbers. So we have to find a number which is divisible by all three numbers. So what to do now? What to do? We have to find LCM. Okay. So we have to find LCM. Okay. Come on. Time taken to change this light so three crossing right so three crossing are 48 seconds 72 seconds and 108 seconds and the time at which at which all three signals, all three signals will change simultaneously, will change, change simultaneously. Will change simultaneously is nothing but the LCM, LCM of 48, 72 and 108. Okay, find out the LCM of 48, 72 and 108. Shall we? 48, 72, 108. Yes, yeah, factorize the number together, divide the number together. All three are divisible by 2, right? So 2, see, all three are divisible by 2 means 2 divides all these 3. So 2 is the factor of all these 3, okay? These are the numbers which are divisible by 2 means these are the numbers which are multiples of 2, okay? So multiples will be divisible by the number. And the divisor, this is the divisor. Divisor divides the given number. Factor, divisor is nothing but factor, right? Factor divides the number. Get it? Yes. So 2, 24 is a, 2, 3 is a 6, 1 will be remaining 6 is a, 2, 5 is a 10, 4. Then 2, 12 is a, 18 is a, and 27 is a. Okay. Again, don't say it means we don't know this uh, table 27s are 18s and all. These are tables. Or else divide this number by 2, you will get this one only. These are the quotients after dividing this by this number. Which quotient you will get? That you have to write here. Okay? Then, again here 12 and 18 are divisible by 2. So, 2, 6 are 12. 2, 9 are 18. 27 is not divisible by 2. Keep it as it is. Then, 2, 3 is a 6. 9 as it is, 27 as it is because they are not divisible by 2. Then, all 3 are not divisible by 2 now. So, all 3 are divisible by 3. So, 3 ones are, 3 threes are, 3 nines are. Okay, then, 3 ones are, ones are, threes are. Next, one more, 3. Remaining all will be 1 only. Okay, if you can't visible this, See here, you just go on dividing. 3 ones are 3, 3 is a 9, right? 3 nines are 27. Once again, here 1 more 3 and 9 is there, no? So once again, you divide it by 3, you will get 1 will be added. 3 ones are 3, 3 3 is a 9. So 1 more 3 is there here. 
If you can't see this, if it is not visible, you just factorize by yourself. You can, right? Factorize it. Don't copy it from the video or from the screen. Try to factorize by yourself. One more three is there. That you have to factorize by one, one more three. So write three, ones are three. Did you get it? Don't try to copy from the screen. Refer it as a reference. Okay, if you don't get it, refer it, or else, I mean, try to factorize by yourself, try to solve by yourself. When you see a continuation, here already I have written one more problem because it's a lengthy problem. Simply uh, let me not uh, waste your time just to write the equation because already you have it in your textbook, right? That's why I have read, wrote and kept it on the board. So, this problem I'll run and I'll continue this one here only. Is that okay? Come on. So, factorization over. Now we have to find the LCM. LCM is nothing but product of the factors. By what in all numbers we have divided? No. These all numbers. We have to find the product of these all. So, therefore, LCM equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Multiply. 3 3s are 9. 9 3s are 27. 27 2s are 54. 54 2s are 108. 108 2s are 260. Double. Multiplication with 2 is nothing but a double. Just double the given number. That's it. Okay. Well, 216 2s are 432 seconds. After every 432 seconds, the all three signals will change their lights together at a time, simultaneously. Okay. So, if you uh, don't get exact timing, if we say in terms of in terms of second, then convert it into minutes. That's it. How, how many seconds will give you one minute? Obviously, 60 seconds. So, if we have to convert seconds into minutes, then what to do? Divide the given number by divide the given number by 4, 6, right? So, 6, six 7 is a 42. Then, 67 is a 420. One more zero. That's it. There is no difference. Okay, you don't think, Miss 60 is a very large number. How should we divide? Think about 6. 6, see, see 6, 7 is a 42. This is 60, it is 432. So, 67 is a 420. That's it. Okay. 7, 420. 6, 7 is a 42. 7, 0 is a 0 as it is. So, subtract, you get it. This is minutes. Okay, this is minutes. And this is seconds. Okay. So, therefore, after every... After every, this say, therefore, say, uh, sentence you can write by your, yourself. After every seven minutes and seven minutes and 12 seconds, after every seven minutes and 12 seconds, all three signals, all three signals or road crossing change their lights, change. The lights simultaneously. Simultaneously. Okay. Simultaneously means together at a time. Okay. Or else you can write. Already they have given the timing. 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Already it has been changed the light at a time simultaneously. Then what will, what will the next, I mean what is the next timing at, at that time? These three signals will change their lights together. So you have to write therefore after 7 77, I mean 7 a.m. 7 a.m. and 7 minutes for 12 seconds. That is that is a bit lengthy, no? That's right. Just write this one on. Okay. Or else you can I'll write your own sentence also, no problem. But that sentence must be relevant to the given problem. Okay. Fine. Shall we go uh, move to the next problem? Yes. See, what is the next problem? Three tankers contains 403 liters, 434 liters and 465 liters of diesel 
respectively. How much diesel is there in three tankers? Those three ta it is not the capacity of that tankers. Those three tankers contains different quantity of diesel, right? So they have given that. You have to uh, find out the maximum capacity of container that you can measure the diesel of three containers exact number of times. So maximum means obviously highest or greatest number you have to find. That number should measure all three containers, I mean all three diesels exact number of times. So if I convert these sentence into mathematically, you have to find the greatest number which divides, see, my, uh, measuring exact number of times is nothing but dividing that quantity into exact number of times, okay? So you have to find the greatest number which divides the given numbers exactly. So divides, what to find? Factor. Greatest, they said. Obviously, HCF you have to find. Or greatest common divisor, GCD. Okay, HCF, this is not only the name for this. You can uh, name it as GCD also. Greatest common divisor. Okay, fine. So, what is the uh, diesel, quantity of diesel in container? Quantity of diesel in three containers. Three containers is R, R is, is four north three liters. 434 liters and 465 liters. Okay, they what they ask here, they ask to find the maximum capacity of container. The maximum, the maximum capacity of container, the maximum capacity of container that can measure, that can measure the diesel, diesel exact number of times, diesel in the container exact number of, number of times is nothing but the HCF of, HCF of 403 and 434, 465 liters. I mean, liters, no need to measure. I mean, no need to write. If you want to write, you can, no problem at all. Okay. Next, we have to find HCF. What we have to do? We have to factorize the given number. Isn't it? So, let us factorize this number. Hmm. Here I can, okay, but if you, if it is not visible, factorize yourself or else I'll try here. Come on, let us start. 4, not 3. By what number is this divisible? It is an odd number, it is not divisible by any of the even number. So, now let us go through odd numbers. 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. It is not divisible by 3, leave it. Then it is 5, once digit is 3. So again, it is not divisible by 5. Next is 7. 3, 3 to the 6. When we subtract 6 from 40, it is 34. It is not divisible by 7 also. Then 9. Then when it is not divisible by 3, then it is not divisible by 9 also. 11. Now, sum of all digits is 7. Even digit, there is 0. So obviously, difference is 7. It is not divisible by 11 also. Then 13. See, 13 threes are divisibility rule not at all, right? So let us try. 13 threes are 39. One will be remaining 30. One sir, right? Yes, we can. So 13 threes are 39. One will be remaining. 13 ones are 30. 31 is the prime number. Over. Okay, next, 434. 434. Here, 
four is in ones place, so it is divisible by two. Two two is a four. Two and the two two seven is that. Now this is not divisible by three. This is divisible by seven. Seven three is a seven one is a. Then thirty one one is a. Right. Next is four sixty five. Four sixty five. Four plus six ten ten plus five fifteen. So it is divisible by three. So three one is a three. Right. Done. Three five is a. Then three fives are right. Now it is divisible by five. Five threes are fifteen. Five ones are thirty-one. Ones are. So what is the answer here? Shall let me rub everything. So represent the given number in prime factorization method. So as the product of the prime numbers, four not three is nothing but thirteen into thirty-one, and four thirty-four is nothing but two into seven into thirty-one. Next, four sixty-five is three into five into thirty-one. So, which is the common factor here? See, thirty-one is common, right? So therefore, let's see here. Is thirty one. Then maximum capacity of container is thirty nine. I mean thirty five liter. The maximum maximum capacity capacity of container container is thirty one. Liters. Okay, liter you can write full. I wrote a short form. You can write full. Shall we move to the next problem? Got it? Yes. Next problem they gave directly. What to do? Instead of like this maximum value or minimum timing, they gave directly. You have to find the number which is divisible by the given number or divide the given number. Okay. Read the problem. You will get to know what you have to. Find is okay. Come on, let us move to the next problem. The next problem says eighth problem, right? We are in eighth problem. Find the least number. Find the least. Number which when divided by which when divided divided by six to fifteen and eighteen six to fifteen fifteen and eighteen leave remainder five leave Remain the five in each case. In each case, hmm. what to do now? Yes, what to do? Think. Yes, what to do? Ah, huh. they have asked the number which divided by this. Or divisible by this. Hmm. Both are one and the same. Okay, the number which divided by the given number or divisible by the given number, both are same. Divides the given number is different. Okay, don't get confused by these numbers. Okay, so you have to concentrate much more here. Did they ask divided by or divisible by? Both are same or divides the given number? Okay. Divides and divided by are different, okay. But divided by and divisible by both are same. So here they ask the number which divided by these. Obviously LCM you have to find. LCM are completely divisible by this number. Exactly divisible by these number. There will be no remainder at all, right? Because these numbers will be the factors of the LCM, isn't it? 
so but they ask you have to find the number which when divided by this five must be the remainder what to do what is the twist here first leave this remainder i mean the remainder case you just leave here first to find out lcm later i'll say what to do okay come on find out the lcm of 6 15 and 80 factorize 6 15 and 80 2 3 6 keep it as it is 9 now that is divisible by 3 Three ones are three fives are three threes are again three ones are three fives are three ones are now five ones are so therefore what is the LCM LCM is two into three six six three is eighteen eighteen fives are ninety when you divide ninety by two you will get a forty five as remainder I mean okay. Not a two at all. Uh, let us uh, let us divide only by these numbers. They did not ask any two, right? So when you divide ninety by six, how much you will get? You will get fifty. Remainder will be zero. And when you divide ninety by fifty, you will get a quotient as a six. So remainder will be zero. You can divide and try. Okay, see, so divide ninety by I mean ninety by fifty. Six are ninety. Remainder is zero. Divide ninety by eighteen. Eighteen fives are ninety. Remainder is zero. Divide ninety by six. Six fifteens are ninety. Remainder is zero. But they ask, they should leave remainder five. That means here we should have five. If we want to have five here, when we will have five here? When it it is here, then only we can have uh, five here. No, if it is not here, how can we? So add this five to this number. Okay. When we have that number here, then only after subtraction we will get this five as remainder. Remainder is nothing but after dividing, how much extra number will be remaining? That is remainder. That extra number, if we want, add it. Did you get it? Add it to the LCM. Understood? Yes. So ninety plus five equals to ninety-five is the number. Is the least number. Is the least number which, when divided, which when divided. When divided by six, fifteen, and eighteen, leave remainder. Leave remainder. Remainder five. In, let's go to the next problem. The next problem is find the smallest four-digit number which is divisible by eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty-two. So they said the smallest four-digit number and divisible by. So divisible by means we have to find the common multiple. Okay, the smallest four-digit we don't know. So let us find out the least common multiple LCM. Then let us check the number of digits. How many digits we will get? Then if we don't get the asked number of digits, so what to do? We have to find the multiples of that LCM, isn't it? So come on. So find the LCM of eighteen. LCM of eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty-two. We have to find out. Come on, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. Two nines are eighteen. Twelve is twenty-four. Sixteen is thirty-two. Next, two nine is not divisible by two. Keep it as it is. Then six is and eight is. Then two nine will be as it is. Three is a six. Four is a eight. Next two here nine and three will be as it is. Two two is a four. Next two nine and three will be as it is. One is a two. Next three three is a nine. 
ones are three, ones are eight. Then three, ones are three, remaining one will be added. Okay, then. So what is the LCM? The LCM is the product of these prime factors. So two into two into two into two into two into three into three. Huh. Find out. Three threes are nine. Nine uh, nine twos are eighteen. Eighteen twos are thirty-six. Thirty-six twos are seventy-two. Seventy-two twos are one forty-four. One forty-four twos are two eighty-eight. So LCM is two eighty-eight. This is three-digit number. But they ask the four-digit number here. So we want four-digit number. They ask the three-digit. I mean, we got three-digit number. So what we have to do now? Already we have solved this type of problem previously, right? So find the multiples of this LCM. All the multiples of this LCM are the common multiples of eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty-two. Isn't it? Yes. So multiples. Multiples of two eighty-eight are two hundred and eighty-eight ones are two hundred and eighty-eight. Don't say miss. So this is the very largest. I mean, great number. I mean, greatest number. Not only greatest number. This is a very uh, big number. How to find the multiples? We don't know the uh, table of this. Don't worry at all. What is multiplication? Multiplication is nothing but repeated addition. So go on adding the number repeatedly. You will get this table. That's it. Very easy to find the table. So ones are okay. Then twice add it once again. So if you add two eighty eight here, so how much you will get? Sixteen seventy five. So two is are five seventy six. Right then. Then three is are. Two eighty eight threes are repeat the same thing. Repeated addition, just repeat it. Fourteen, sixty, eight. Right. So eight, sixty, four. Right. Next number. What to do? Next also we have to repeat in the same way. So add. Two eighty-eight. So what to do? Twelve. Sixteen plus one fifteen. Eleven. So the next number is right. So we can continue. Okay, we can continue. No problem. But they ask for the smallest four-digit number, and we got it. Smaller than this is a three-digit number. So the smallest number is this one only. This is the smallest three-digit number, which is divisible by all three numbers, right? So therefore, the smallest four-digit number, the smallest four-digit number, four-digit number, which is which is divisible by which is divisible by 18 24 and 32 is 1152 oh so now last two problems we have here they did not give anything indirectly directly they ask to find the lc i'll read both the problems and i'll see you have to solve these two okay this is your assignment you have to solve these two by yourself okay but i'll read this problem and i'll explain you once so find the lcm of the following numbers they have given a b c d find the lcm of all those four numbers and then observe a common property there Is the LCM is the product of given numbers or not? You have to find the LCM of all four numbers and then find out the I mean write the observation. Same way eleventh one also find the LCM of the four numbers and write your observation. These problems I'm not going to write on the board. Okay, you have to solve it by yourself. So playing with number 
game is finished today so in the next observe i mean video let us start the new chapter and the new branch of math that is geometry okay in the next session in the next clippings we will go geometry for geometry okay bye bye